Welcome to Astronomy Online Labs. I'm Ulrika LaHaze and I will be your instructor for this upcoming semester. In this video tutorial, I will walk you through the startup procedure step by step from a student perspective so you can hit the ground running. Let's start on the iCollege homepage for the STEMO student and access the Astronomy Lab from here. Click the pertinent Astronomy Lab section. Notice that in this tutorial we are using an older Astronomy 1020 lab section, but everything in this tutorial applies to the current Astronomy 1020 lab as well as the Astronomy 1010 lab sections. First, check out the news widget on the left side where I will post important updates and announcements. At the beginning of the semester will be a welcome message. This may vary a little from one semester to the next, but it will always have the information about what steps to take to get the course started and all materials and assessments released to you. Scrolling further down, below the news widget is the instructor and course information widget. It reiterates the importance of completing the startup steps to get all course materials and assessments released to you. You need to complete every item for full points. You can repeat the startup items until you have received full points. Notice my GPC email address in case I call it just down so you can get in, con in contact with me and the textbook information. This tutorial lists the information for the 12th edition of the Laboratory Textbook for Elementary Astronomy, which was used at the time the tutorial was made. Be sure to locate the up-to-date textbook info for the current semester that you are taking the lab. Scrolling back up, we find the content browser. Here is where you start with the Getting Started module. Notice how you are not seeing any other content in the content browser. Click on the Getting Started module and you will see the no-show quiz and nothing else. Only after you have completed the no-show quiz and received full points will you see the next startup step appear in this Getting Started module. You can also get the content by clicking on the Content tab. If we scroll back up and see the entire nav bar. And again, all you see is the no-show quiz. And nothing else. After completing the no-show quiz for full points, you can also access it from here. You will see the next startup ste steps listed below. And since the no-show quiz is also a quiz, it is listed under the Quizzes tab, also in the upper nav bar. So if we click on the Quizzes tab, we will see the no-show quiz listed as the only quiz. And after having completed it, you will see more items appear as you complete the Getting Started startup procedure. So let's go ahead and take the no-show quiz so we can get to the next step. Note that you can access the no-show quiz from the content browser, the content tab, or the quizzes tab. And it doesn't matter on which one you click. We'll scroll, scroll down and start the quiz. Be sure to save every, to save the answer once you're done. And click submit at the very bottom. So the startup no-show quiz 
only has the general policy that you have entered the course and that you agree to those procedures. All you have to do is click on I agree, make sure that you save the response, then up here you will see that your response is now saved because it is bolded in blue. You can click save all responses just to be sure that it is really saved and then click on go to submit quiz. To be absolutely sure, yes, we want to submit the quiz. Okay, now that we have completed the quiz and we have received 100 out of 100 points, we can close this, close this informational window, click back to the quizzes list, and we will see the next item appear, which is the syllabus consent. If we go back to the content tab, we will now see that following the no-show quiz, here's the information of the syllabus itself which you will read carefully and afterwards take the syllabus consent quiz and also be sure that you receive full points for it. Likewise, we can go back to the course homepage, look at the content browser and click again on getting started and you will see now the same items as under the content tab where the syllabus information is posted and the link to the syllabus consent quiz. We will go over that in the next part.